Hey everybody, welcome back to Kick It Into Sticks. So today is probably gonna be a fairly short video, but we're going to be cleaning up the scrap metal that came from the burn of the house. Looking at basically the steel roof, uh, we got the bathtub that I pulled out. I think you might have seen that in the last video that I recorded when we were actually doing the burn. I pulled the orange glowing uh, metal object from the fire. That was the bathtub that was in the bathroom. Actually, I never did include any of that cleanup footage from that night in the last video, but here is the tub being pulled from the fire. Unfortunately, due to the low light conditions, a lot of the footage just looked grainy and not very pleasing, so I didn't include it. But I didn't do much other than push some of those large timbers you see down into the basement to prevent any embers from hitting the garage or my house. And then I pulled the steel roof off of the fire too, so the fire wouldn't suffocate overnight. Uh, also some water heaters, a pressure tank, and just some other miscellaneous odds and ends. There was an old wood furnace down in the basement. So I've kind of pulled some of that stuff from the basement and I just set it up on the top side and now uh, we're going to load it into a scrap trailer today. Thankfully, we've got some great scrap metal collectors in the area, so we don't have to go far to get rid of all this material. We have a guy that just keeps bringing a trailer in, we pack them full, and then he takes them away. This is going to be our third trailer load of steel right here coming out of this house. We had two trailer loads prior when we were doing the clean out, such as bed frames, old sewing machine bases, like old sewing machines, the antique kind, where you had to rock the pedal with your feet in order to make the sewing machine work. And we had boat motors and oh gosh i'm trying to think of what else we all had that came out of there old cream separator we had vacuum cleaners all kinds of stuff so chairs tables just everything that you could think of pretty much made of metal we could get rid of it and get some money for it we got rid of it So unfortunately, scrap metal prices aren't the best that they've ever been, but we've gotten a couple hundred dollars from everything that we've recycled so far, including this load here. And it's just helped subsidize the cost of the diesel fuel that we've been running through the equipment. Without the excavator and the tractor, we could have never have done all of the cleanup that we've done to this point so far. And it takes a lot of fuel to get this done. So it's nice just to have that little extra cash there to help keep this cleanup process moving along. So as I'm swinging around here, it's actually very impressive to see how well everything burned up from that fire last night. I guess in my mind, I was expecting there to be some unburnt material that we would have to still deal with, but everything's been pretty much reduced to ash. And the only thing left we have to really worry about is the scrap metal that we're picking up right now and then taking out the basement walls and removing the stones from the footing of the crawl space. Initially when I saw how large this pile of steel was, I really didn't think we were going to get everything into this one trailer load, but lo and behold we managed to do it. This trailer is packed full and that means that we can move on to something different now besides just steel removal. We can go ahead and start taking out the footings of the crawl space area which was all composed of field stone and so are the basement walls as well. We're going to try to break those apart, pull all that material out of the basement hole, and then we're hopefully gonna be able to get that floor out of there. I'm not real sure how well that's going to work yet though. I'm 
just trying to determine what exactly the excavator will be able to lift and move from this footing that was on the west side of the house. Over the years, there were patch jobs made and concrete poured in to try and keep the footings held together so the house wouldn't collapse on that side. Right now, I don't know exactly what we're going to be able to lift or how easy this stuff is going to break, so that's what we're going to find out right now. Well that's a relief. It took a couple of tries, but it looks like it's going to break apart pretty easily. But that's enough for right now. We're going to put everything away for the night and we're going to call it a day because it's getting pretty late already. So there it all is. The metal is all loaded into the back of the trailer. We have a nice clean landscape here to work with now. Now it's just cleaning up the rubble from the basement and the crawl space. Every day is a little bit more progress made. This is probably going to still be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get it cleaned up. <laughs> 